Since yesterday, Cyclone Amfam has intensified. It is now a Category 5 hurricane strength system, or for the basin, it is a super cyclonic storm. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center have the storm at 140 knots, well, that's into Category 5 intensity, with further intensification to 145 knots. This would uh, certainly make it a super cyclonic storm, even after accounting for the different wind averaging times. A super cyclonic storm is the top of the Indian Ocean scale, with winds sustained 3 minute averages of 120 knots. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center is 1 minute sustained, so you have to lower it a little bit, but still, this storm is very likely in the super cyclonic storm category. There is in the Bay of Bengal a large area of sea surface temperatures above normal. So the Bay of Bengal is full of energy. It can support a Category 5 hurricane strength system. As has now been confirmed with this storm. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center continue to suggest that the storm will weaken significantly prior to landfall. However, there are certainly a number of models that indicate that this weakening is going to be tempered and may not be as significant as they're indicating. For example, let's take a look at the Hurricane Wharf here. Uh, the storm comes up and approaches. You can just make out the coast of Bangladesh along here and then India coming around like this. This is a moving domain, so the coast moves towards the storm. And there is landfall in India near the border with Bangladesh. But the thing is, the winds are, in the Hurricane Wharf at least, are over 100 knots at landfall. And not only that, but hurricane force winds maintain around the storm as it goes inland. It's obviously weakening very rapidly at this point due to land interaction. But it remains at hurricane strength, according to the Hurricane Wharf anyway, well inland into Bangladesh. So the situation, again, like yesterday, but perhaps even worse, is, uh, is, 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 is absolutely severe according to the Hurricane Wharf. Now, it may be an outlier, so let's check out some of the other models. This graph shows a range of the intensity predictions across a range of models. And the Hurricane Wharf we just looked at is this orange line, and you see it suddenly drop off here. So that indicates our landfall. So we can kind of put in a line around there, which is around 60 hours, so that's on Wednesday is landfall. And you can see that there are a, a quite a number of models following a curve that maintains a major hurricane strength system up to the point of landfall. Because a major hurricane being anything above category 3, this is category 3, so actually there are about, I would say, half or maybe a little less than half of the models because uh, it's dropping off just at just at landfall and some of them dropping off just prior to landfall so you've definitely got several models maybe a third or maybe more than a third that are predicting a major hurricane strength land landfall and the thing to note with this graph is that look at all these models that start they start just far too weak a lot of them i mean this is we know it's a Category 5 already, so uh, this uh, these models are coarse resolution, so they don't have a proper hurricane in the initialization. There does appear to be a question over the track, because the European Sensor model shown here does take it into India, clipping the coast there, and then going on in towards Calcutta. But in this scenario, Bangladesh escapes the worst of the winds. And actually, the GFS also does, it's not far different. It also goes into India around Calcutta and coming in there. So it does look like they are firming up on this track. To make landfall of the core center of the storm and the eye into India rather than Bangladesh. But still, some models are taking the storm into Bangladesh. So have to probably wait another day before these all come together and sort of coagulate around some kind of proper track. Whoa, 
check out this view. This is from Himawari 8 from the Himawari.asia website. This is one monstrous storm, my goodness. You can see the eye in the center and it's basically filling up the whole Bay of Bengal. So, I mean, overall, what do you reckon? I mean, this is, it looks like the tracks are somewhat heading in towards the Calcutta region. And, but then with some possibility of it going to Bangladesh, but not, either way, one thing is for certain, this is gonna pick up a, a very large storm surge and possible captured fetch as it heads up into there. So there's gonna be a extreme waves run up, a severe storm surge, potentially devastating storm surge. And the winds remain a question as to whether it maintains intensity, but as far as I can tell, a major hurricane strength system landfall at the extremely severe cyclonic storm category maybe seems quite quite probable and uh, an extremely extremely dangerous looking storm so anyway uh, perhaps I may do an update tomorrow let's see how this looks and thanks for watching I'm gonna leave it at that if you enjoyed this video or learned something new, then you may find other videos on this channel of interest. Hitting the like button and subscribing really helps to support this channel. To get the latest videos, don't forget to enable all notifications. 